What's up guys, this is David from How To Ghost, and last week I showed you how to install Ghost on DigitalOcean, and this week I'm going to show you how to update Ghost on DigitalOcean. So the way DigitalOcean works is because you're the admin on your own server, all the updates aren't done for you, you have to go ahead and do it yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. So the first thing you need to do is if you're on a Mac, you already have the, the program terminal. If you're on Windows, you need some sort of program to be able to use the command line, like PuTTY or something else. Uh, so once you have that, you're going to have a terminal window that looks something like this. So in this window, we need to SSH into the server that we have. So to find where you need to go, go to your DigitalOcean control panel. Here's the droplet we're using. Here's the IP address. So we're going to copy the IP. This could also be the URL of your blog if you have that set up. I'm going to do SSH, root, or whatever user you have if you have a different user set up. At IP address, enter. It's going to ask for your password. And then now you're inside the actual VPS that Ghost is running on. Now there's two ways you can update. One is we actually create a script for DigitalOcean itself that'll do everything for you. So if you use the install we showed you or you have the one-click install of DigitalOcean, all you need to do to update is copy this one command, paste it in, hit enter, and it'll do everything for you. So it's gonna download the, the latest zip, unpack it, replace all the files that it needs to replace for you, and go ahead and get go started again. So once you see this go started is finished, we can now go ahead and refresh, and you can see the ghost blog's back up and running. Now I'm kind of cheating because I didn't have an older version and this isn't a newer version because this is you know a week after I built the droplet. But that process is gonna be exactly the same, and you can see Ghost is still running now. Now, if you don't want to use our script and you'd rather just do it by hand, which is totally fine, um, we have a list of manual updates or manual commands as well. So here's a list of commands. So again, from the root of your VPS, you can CD to where Ghost is. So for DigitalOcean, that's CD slash var www ghost. And then we're going to make a temporary directory to house everything. So make directory temp cd into temp so now we're inside the temp directory and then we're going to curl the latest zip file from ghost so just copy that paste that in and now it's going to download the latest ghost from ghost servers so now we're going to unzip it unzip ghost latest so now you can see we have a list of all the new ghost stuff and then we're going to cd back one directory into the actual ghost directory outside of the temp we're going to copy all the markdown and JSON and JS files to um, the directory that we're currently in. We're copying them from the temp to where we currently are. And then we're going to remove the core directory. And this is actually a very important step that a lot of people forget to do, and it can cause problems. So remove the core directory. And then we're going to move the new core directory into where the old one was. So move the temporary core directory to where it is now. Last thing, we're going to move Casper and overwrite Casper. So then you have the updated Casper theme as well, because that's all packaged with the new ghost. And then we're going to sudo npm install production, because that's production is uh, the production environment. And that's what you want if you're running a production blog. And then we're going to remove the temporary directory. And then you can see we got all of our stuff here. One thing I noticed that I actually don't have listed and I'm going to be adding right after this is you do need to make sure that all of the files are owned by Ghost. So to do that, you're going to do sudo chone dash r ghost ghost everything in this directory. So you could see above the core was owned by root and now it's owned by ghost. I'm going to add that in. So thanks for reminding me. So now uh, we've already gone, done and installed everything, put all the new files in place. So now we're going to restart Ghost on DigitalOcean. So service, Ghost restart. And that'll stop the Ghost process, start the Ghost process. And then if we refresh here, we're good to go. So both of, the, of those ways will allow you to update Ghost. Um, like I said, I kind of cheated because I was already on 075, but I couldn't create a droplet with an older version and didn't want to go back and hack it. So essentially that's the way that you update Ghost. You can use our script, you can use the manual process, 
It's pretty simple. We have a list of commands, like I said here, and I'll link that in the description, add that last command in for you. Um, and then from there, you can uh, have the latest ghost and not worry about it. Just make a backup of your blog before you do any of this in case you run a command that's bad. Our script makes a backup of the database, but if you're gonna be doing this, definitely do an export of all your data first, just so you don't run into trouble, because if something happens, then that could suck. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe. We, we're trying to come out with new videos every Wednesday, and uh, hit the like button if you like this, and good luck host on DigitalOcean. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.